when you get old your voice breaks and it's not worth it and I'm asthmatic no 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 yeah just play play yeah play with It? Yes, yes, you do miss it. It's very relaxing. You do miss it. You can forget about everything else when you come in here. Uh, I started piano when I was about seven, having lessons, and went right through until I was about 18. My father's family were, my mother's weren't, but my father's were very musical. They more or less had a small orchestra. I sang with the choir in Whitehead and in Larne, and uh, there was a, it was a local, local operatic society. And uh, what about the, tell us about the time you sang in the hospital? We entertained a lot of people who were over in the opera house and the Empire. They came to to entertain patients every other Wednesday, and uh, they would ask me to sing for them. Marguerite Wise, Jimmy Young. They were quite well down the uh, down the list in entertainers in the, in in the Empire and the Opera House at that stage. I, I like Andre Ria. I like him very much. Now he has come in quite recently, and I I enjoy his his music very much. She's a lovely singer. Uh, lovely contralto. Unfortunately, she doesn't sing enough. So you'd like to hear her sing more often? Oh, yes. I'd like her to sing in a, you know, the choir, a small group, but it's up to her. You know, you can't make people sing and do things just because you want it. Wellington Place, he had it, a studio above Crimble's and then started singing at about, taking really serious singing lessons when I was about 18 with uh, William Boyd. He was also in Wellington Place. And he was he was from the, um, he took the Shaftesbury and almost male voice choir as well. He conducted those. Mm -hmm. And uh, then I was with the Philharmonic in Belfast. I sang with them too. But uh, there wasn't much time. It was difficult to get time off. Well, you have to curtail. As you get older, you've got to cut your cloth to what you can do. And um, this is another very vague question, but what is it like to be old? You accept it. You accept that, that you've got to curtail some things if you're going to do other things. That some things you can continue to do, but other things you have to cut out. You, if you, if you, even in, in, as a younger person, there are things that have to go by the wayside. <laughs> 